Good day, and welcome back to my YouTube channel uh, today. Do you love books like I do? I have a huge collection of books in here, and uh, some of them are um, novels and uh, the classics and all that sort of stuff. I love reading all the old time books and complete works by people like the complete works of um, Conan Doyle, Sherlock Holmes and all that sort of stuff, Jack London, Call of the Wild, all those sort of stuff. But um, <clears throat> I love uh, contemporary Australian authors. A lot of the books I have here are um, Australian photographers and their works and maybe I should go through them all one by one. I've done a few of them and uh, just comment on, on those um, photographers and uh, do a review on each one as I go, do a whole series. Today I'm going to do a couple of videos. I'll do this one and then stop and then I'll do another one of some, some local authors. One, the first one I'll do is probably not so much a, um, um, a local photographer. He does photography and he does some video, but uh, he's got some other skills, but he's also a, a young man who's got a keen interest in historic, in historical stuff. And uh, I'm going to highlight a couple of books he's done and, and give you a link to his website, um, which he doesn't, sorry, to his YouTube channel, which he doesn't really put much on there. However, so I'm going to be doing that one. But before I do that, I'm just going to give you a shout out to a review I'll do a bit further down the track. Um, one of them is um, this book I'm reading here. I haven't finished reading this book. <clears throat> this is, um, I don't know if you can see that there, Frank Hurley. He's an iconic Australian photographer of several years ago now. I think I was still alive when he was alive at one stage, but um, he did some amazing work. Controversial photographer at times, but he was very famous for some of the work he did in Antarctica with the ill-fated expedition of Shackleton, for instance, when the, the, um, the boat that he's standing under there on the ice in Antarctica, the Endurance, um, sunk, and uh, these guys, that all the uh, crew and the scientists and whatever that were on board, they did some amazing stuff to actually get back to civilization and live to tell the tale and he actually managed to bring back some of his cinematography and his uh, photos that he took which are really quite amazing lots of other stuff probably on youtube about frank early but when i finish reading this book it's quite enthralling but it's taken me a while to get through it i'll give you a full review of that one so watch out for that one frank Hur hurley so <coughs> put that one down Now, this young man here I'm going to talk about is a young guy called Jackson Wickham. And he and his family are friends of ours. They live in the Riverland in Renmark in South Australia. And uh, Jackson is quite a, a remarkable young man. And the mo most recent book he did was called um, A Renmarkable Vessel. It's um, the story of the paddle steamer Renmark, 1912 to 1951 by Jackson Wickham. And... Uh, this is the second book he's did. He was commissioned to do this, and uh, it's amazing. This this boat actually is sunk on the bottom of the river, and hopefully one day someone will try and get it up and restore it. But it's the history of this particular um, boat, and um, he goes into a lot of detail in, in these books that he's done, and uh, all sorts of information about the river. Jackson is actually um, uh, studying to be a... Uh, paddle steamer skipper actually on the on the river because he's he's uh, fascinated and totally into the the whole paddle steamer uh, scheme of things and well known up and down the Murray River for what he does and uh, lots of people know of him and what he's up to and he's even been on one of the national ABC TV programs I'll put a link to that little snippet where they're talking to him uh, a couple of years back now about his uh, ideas and um, that one is, is one book. I, I haven't read that in detail yet, and I wasn't there for the launch of that one. But this one here, you might be aware that um, uh, on my YouTube channel and also on my blogs, I've done a lot of lay preaching in Renmark, in the Renmark um, Uniting Church, both in the town and also out at Renmark West, which is where, and Jackson's family actually started that church many years ago, or instrumental in starting it. And they had their centenary a couple of years ago, and uh, Jackson put together this beautiful book. Hang on, he's got, I've got things inside here that are falling out. Just a minute. He put together this um, book on the history of the 
the Renmark West Uniting Church. And uh, we've been there many times and I've preached there several times. And uh, we love all the people there and know all of the people that worship there still. And uh, also in the town church as well. But Jackson put together this one to celebrate the centenary of the church. And it's an amazing book. And he put a lot of um, effort into it. There's other stuff that goes with it here. But, uh, you know, he's got lots of text. He's done heaps of research. Took him about a year to do it, I think. And... Um, it's really quite fascinating. I was privileged to actually be the MC of the launch at the Renmark Hotel when the book was launched and it sold like hotcakes. Uh, you may still be able to get one from Jackson anyway. I'll put a link to that uh, on the um, on the uh, stuff underneath the actual YouTube video and uh, also a link to his YouTube channel because he's a remarkable young man. He's really keen on history, uh, local uh, Riverland history and an expert on the river boats and uh, just an amazing young guy and um, you'll enjoy learning about Jackson and what he's up to and you'll be interested to see what he's going to get up to next so there you go that's Jackson Wickham and further down the track we'll be doing the the Frank Hurley one I'm also part of, I'm doing this river stuff at the moment today and, and this next video I'm going to do in a moment uh, because I'm still working on uh, the um, video I'm, I'm putting together on our trip last year on the the uh, river boat the proud mary and i've got some footage and stills from that so i'm going to show that one to you the other thing that um, is of interest which i don't know what i did with that one hang on a second is another book i'll just mention this other book here which and then i'll go on to stop this video and start the next one this one here is harnessing the river murray this one is by a local Australian author called Helen Stagg and it's a beautiful book because when before uh, the River Murray was opened up through the paddle steamers um, the paddle steamers couldn't always get through because sometimes there'd be drought the river would dry up and they'd be stranded there for months at a time other times it would be flowing freely and they could get through so um, this is about the stories of the people who built locks 1 to 9, 1915 to 1935. So the whole of the River Murray, or a good portion of it, has all these locks that actually um, change the level of the water to keep uh, the flow going and to sort of basically create a whole series of dams which you can navigate and go through the locks up and down in, in the water level to uh, navigate the river. And, and um, it's of interest really that my wife's late uncle who was nearly 100 when he died, he actually uh, told us how he worked on these locks when he was a young man, putting them together, all the cement work and everything there, and the, uh, particularly the iron work, because he worked in a foundry. So that's an interesting book, and it gives you the whole history of, of all these people and what they got up to, stuff that most of us, if we didn't read something like this, we would know nothing about. So that's I might find, find, find a link to put on the... Uh, the video for this one too harnessing the river murray stories of the people who built locks one to nine by helen stag that's s-t-a-double-g and that's a, a good one too so i'm going to stop this one here now and then i'm going to because um, i'm going to publish these at different times and then i'm going to do the next one um which who i think is, is someone that hardly people he doesn't seem to get much publicity but he's an amazing australian photographer and entrepreneur and has done some amazing work so i'll show you that in a minute but anyway thanks for watching like if you like and subscribe if you wish and i'll see you on the next one see you later